Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing another Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. This one was sent in by Sarmation, who uh, I'm sure you're familiar with by now. Uh, one thing though, flagellants, how on earth do they see anything? You know what it is, right? This, this is why they got these bells, right? These bells, that gives them echolocation. It must be. It's, it's the only explanation. So anyway, uh, enough about uh, flagellants being flagellants. Uh, yeah, this is a great army uh, for Dean with Skaven. I really like this kind of build. I often bring these kinds of builds um, against Skaven, and I really enjoy it. But one thing I don't tend to bring often is the Sudmaker, which is bizarre because these things are just so good these days. Uh, people still see them as a bit of a meme, but they can put in the work for sure. But anyway, Vault Mother Grimm. Causes terror, loads of magic resistance, so good against uh, Skaven artillery. He can use a banishment. If he wants even more magic resistance for him and his bros, then uh, he's got uh, Grand Soul Fire here, which will do damage to things nearby, but also that plus 90% magic resistance is ludicrous. Also, you know, plenty of other ways to buff and debuff units. He regenerates, so if he does take some damage from artillery, he can just, you know, walk around well. I don't know, ride around, I suppose, for a bit and get his health back. So he's a great lord to have in here. I mean, that just that terror and unbreakable is just brilliant. So uh, he's fantastic. Also an amber wizard. The amber wizard obviously causes terror, good armor piercing, good gooning capabilities. And here he has the amber spear for taking out big armored things. And uh, also he has the transformation of Kadon to summon a manticore for even more terror and potential hero gooning. So that is very nice. Also here you can see he's got the Knights of the Blazing Sun, the Knights of the Blazing Sun, and Empire Knights over there too and more Empire Knights there. They're all very, very good for dealing with things like Rat Ogres and stuff like that. That charge bonus and the lack of armor for anything they might be charging just rips them apart. And uh, the Knights of Blazing Sun, just beautiful charge bonus. They are very good. And again, a bit of magic resistance on them too, which is very nice to see. Uh, here at Sunmaker, just huge amount of missile damage, hugely spread out, ton of ammunition, it spits through it in seconds, which means you can just do so much damage initially and then get your front line involved. So here, flagellants, all unbreakable, which is lovely, so it doesn't matter about friendly fire from the Sunmaker, they don't care if they explode, they can't even see it happening, they're all blind, the weirdos. Also, Sigmar Suns, more unbreakable stuff, so they'll just stay fighting forever against something that breaks very quickly. So now, his opponent, this is actually a pretty damn good army. I think a Warp Lightning Cannon would have been nice um, to help deal with cavalry, but he does have plenty of Stormburn with Halberds. He's got loads of Clan Rats here. He's got Skrulk, so able to summon more things. Lower Armor with Wither. Rod of Corruption to do damage to things nearby. He's got a couple of Rat Ogres, some extra mass and armor piercing to help quickly deal with great swords and the like. He's got some Plague Monks to help quickly kill things like Flagellants. Plague Claw Catapults, again, good anti-infantry. And he's got some more Skaven Slice Spears in the back. The problem is, I just don't think this quite has enough anti-large, but if he can team up with various units, he does at least have the Rat Ogre some good armor piercing, so it will help him kill things like cavalry and uh, block them in. They just don't want to receive the charge from them. So, speeding things up, you can see the Sunmaker is, uh, is, well, it's having a whale of a time. I mean, look at this. Look at this. How many kills I got already? 47? 47. I only just hit play. That's kind of nonsense. Oh, also over here, uh, Warp Fire Thrower. Escorted by some clan rat spears. I think this is a bit of an odd odd idea. Um, I guess he was trying to get a nice little flank, but he was obviously gonna he was obviously gonna get spotted. So the nice and blazing sun are charging in, flagellants are nearby to keep the clan rat spears busy, and uh, the warp fire throw is just being mulched right now. They're not great. 40 armor on the warp fire throwers is not much. So they've been taken out before they could do much, which is a pity, because they could have burned through so many flagellants. So over here, it looks like a banishment on this storm vermin, and uh, more and more damage over here from the Sunmaker. He's now going for the other side, just weaken everything, and it means all of their sort of max leadership will be lowered across the board. So when you've got your unbreakable units, you'll have a whale of a time. Over here, Ratogas did charge in to try and stem the flow of this stuff, cause, a, cause an anchor for the Plague Claw Catapults to get some damage in. But, Empire Knights, one charge and those Rat Ogres are dealt with. They're not immune to psychology, so the Terror from Voltmar is going to do a lot of work. And uh, the Amber Wizard's starting to move in now. And uh, here, Rat Ogres starting to move around the outside, try and get some work done. And here, we're going to see a lot of dead flagellants, but it doesn't matter, they're cool with it. And uh, that's going to be a lot of dead storm... An unbelievably large amount of dead storm vermin. Wow! That's pretty impressive. So things are pushing forward to try and push into these units, but Balance of Power already hugely in Sarmation's favor. The amount of damage that has been done already. And now, Transformation of Kadon, Feral Manticore can safely run in and try and goon Skrulk, because you don't really want to get near Skrulk with anything valuable, but a summoned unit, you don't want to waste Lever Bubonicus on, so the Manticore's perfect for attacking him. And now everything's blobbing up, trying to stem these Tattersols that don't care that they're being exploded, so everything's just being absolutely knackered. Huge amount of stuff running away, Flagellant's still just chasing everything off. And at that point, he calls it a day. I mean, why, why would you carry on, right? Why would you carry on? That was, um, unbelievable. 
absolutely unbelievable. What would I do differently? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, if I was a Skaven, I'm not sure what I'd do. Um, that that Hellstorm rocket battery just... It just worked wonders. Um, it really did. I think one thing though, uh, the standard clan rats. I think you've got a load of damage dealers like the Plague Monks, the Plague Claw Catapults, you know, the Rat Ogres. You've got a lot of potential for damage there. I think you want to go with the clan rat spears. They have better melee defense. They're going to hold that front line a little bit longer. So it means you can be able to get, you know, your Storm Vermin on the correct units. And uh, you've still got the Plague Monks that can charge into the front line to back up the spears. But it just means that cavalry can't charge into the front line, kill all your Plague Monks and your clan rats. So um, I think, uh, yeah. Go with, go with your anti-large front line more for the melee defense than for actually the anti-large. I think that would help a lot. Um, Skrulk, um, yeah, got to just keep summoning stuff on top of those flagellants to whittle them down, I think. I mean, they took a lot of damage, but they didn't lose a lot of models is the thing because they weren't in combat for long because the huge, huge leadership debuffs that Skaven, well, that all units get for being hit by artillery, it just meant that front line buckled so quickly. The Sunmaker was hitting basically every unit because the shots are so spread out and uh, shoots so often, it just keeps those debuffs going, and it means that Terra from things like Voltmar, the Amber Wizard, um, you know, the, the Manticore from Transformation Kadon, all that Terra can take hold, and he had enough cavalry just to kind of stop anything mucking about. You know, anything like a Doom Wheel that might have run in and been a nuisance, he could pin it down, stop it getting into all of his flagellants, and let let the units do the work that you want to do the work, you know? He had, he had insurance here. So, um, yeah, this was kind of insane. Kind of just... Weird, weird game. Um, I think I think a warp lightning cannon would have been nice. Uh, Plague claw catapults are all right, but you've also got so much like anti infantry anyway. Um, I mean, the the most sort of threatening infantry you're going to see from the Empire is is probably going to be great swords, and you've got the rat ogres for that. So I don't think you need to go all in with uh, the anti infantry um, sort of you know catapults and things. Warp lightning cannons very useful in this matchup, and uh, maybe bring a Warlock Engineer or an Assassin might be nice. An Assassin with the Rival Hide Talisman just knock everything in the front line, um, you know, down by 44 melee attack. It's going to make that front line pretty ineffective, and that will give you a lot of extra time for your artillery to do the work. So, um, yeah, there's a few, few options, I think. But uh, generally, this is just to show off the Hellstorm rocket battery, because, yeah, the Sunmaker, it's very underrated, and uh, it seems that every time I see this, I get sent a replay involving it. It's always some Asian. He seems to be the only one that's realized it actually gets some work done these days. And, I mean, 242 kills in a battle that lasted five minutes. I mean, what more can I tell you? So, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this. It was certainly a bit silly. Um, not very competitive, but it, it proves a very important question. Is the Sunmaker any good? Yes. Yes, it is. Look, there it is. It's really good. So, uh, take it. It's fun. It's a fun one. Do. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.